places his hand next to my face, winds it back. I try to move out of the way, but this other kid holds me in place. Dale, you don't have to do this. It's too late, yo-yo. A gorilla wins! Ah! How in the world did we get here? Well, to get into that, I have to describe public school. See, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how public school didn't teach us anything, and anyone who has attended American public school knows why. Yo, before we start off this video, I want to say I have finally dropped merch. We have these oversized boxy tees. We have this design on the front as a design on the back. These are samples, so they don't have it, but all of them are going to have like this puff print material that kind of rises off the shirt. Thick, they're all thick, like they're not cheap shirts that we're printing on. So if this is something that you'd be interested in copying, the link will be in my description and I have it on the screen right now. The shop's gonna be open for a limited time. So if you wanna cop some, I would suggest doing it soon. To anyone who does cop the merch and also wants to see future drops because I'm gonna be doing consistent drops because it's like a clothing brand type of thing. Follow the IG for the clothing brand. It's run by me. I'm designing everything. I'm gonna be designing everything for a long time. And also I'll be giving very consistent updates on the shipping and everything because I want everyone to know like where their stuff is and stuff like that. So follow it there i would really appreciate the support and let me know in the comments if you cop some i'll definitely be looking at that and thank you and it's so hot today man because american public school is a war zone the only thing that students do is fight or fight and disguise it as a game you're not gonna look me in the face and tell me slap boxing isn't scrapping you are lying to yourself if you're gonna tell me shooting hornets wasn't personal some kids will put staples in them shit i'd use two rubber bands that's basically a hollow tip axe body spray was the locker room version of world war ii mustard gas we were in the trenches bro we didn't learn anything because we were too busy trying to not get caught lacking i know anyone who had this haircut had to walk the halls with their head on a swivel well why is that yo yo I'll tell you. In the past, I told a story about my... <clears throat> In the past, I told a story about a barber absolutely destroying my hairline, so much to the point that I needed to go bald. Now, there's nothing wrong with being bald <laughs> if you don't mind your head being treated like a bag of rice at a damn Costco. Being bald in public school is a one-way ticket to getting the back of your head absolutely violated. And it was always the kids whose parents let them grow out their hair that would do the slapping like, YOU DON'T KNOW MY PAIN! But that's only a mild example of the absolute physical and mental abuse that is American public school. Off the top of my head, no pun intended, I can think of two that really got me lacking. Necking and the slap game. Now, necking was simple. If you say something dumb, someone would say, give me your neck or that's a neck and then slap the back of your head. On paper, it looks like a harmless game, but the only problem with it is the lack of clarification of what dumb is most of the game was just debating if what you said was really dumb or not for example i remember this one time we were watching king kong in school now i was in the back of the class sitting with a group of kids and one of them asked yo who will win in a fight a grizzly bear or a gorilla now the answer to this question is very obvious which is what i thought but everyone seems to get this shit wrong i want you to guess right now between a grizzly bear and a gorilla which one you think would win don't even wait for me to say the answer because the answer is obvious i want you to type it in and if you're wrong i want you to hear me say the correct answer look at your answer and i want you to feel dumb and type it in right now like the video while you're there the correct answer is a grizzly bear easily bro they're like twice the size they literally have a weapons on the end of their fingers the bite force is better the only thing a gorilla has is thumbs is that motherfucker holding a gun i don't think so and even if it was a gun it would have to be a specific gun because the bear's skin is so i'm gonna get hot because a bear grizzly bear specifically but it's easy bro so i say that and this kid who all named dale gets on me for saying that because he's just convinced a gorilla would have no problem dealing with the bear and he was absolutely riding for gorillas while i'm defending my case mind you this kid was like 6 1 200 pounds so i guess his big brolic ass took my gorilla slander personally <laughs> so <laughs> so we're arguing and he goes yo yo a gorilla is not losing to a grizzly bear man give me your neck neck after those four words were uttered, the group goes silent and just looks at me. Wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right, I promise you I'm not. Uh. I feel the grip strength of a thousand suns grab the back of my head, yank my head down to reveal my completely vulnerable neck. This strong ass nigga didn't even give me the chance 
to explain why a bear wins because it wins but i can only look in horror as i see his hand raise over my head almost perfectly mimicking a guillotine as it raises to behead its next victim and as fast as his hand raised his hand comes down <laughs> My ears are ringing, my spine is tingling, my toes are curling. This nigga rocked me so hard, I could only see stars. <clears throat> I fall to the ground, and everyone goes back to watching the movie. The craziest part about all of this is that no one got in trouble because it was just seen as a game. No! No, now please! That head I'm down. telling you, I'm right, right, right. Right. Hey, y'all, be quiet now. <laughs> these goofy kids so after getting back up the only thing on my mind is get back now i can't fight him because i get in trouble you'd also get your ass beat i'd get in trouble my only other option was the slap game now the slap game was a lot more structured you had actual rules you challenge someone and put your hands out and then they put their hands on top of yours and your goal is to basically flip your hand over and slap theirs if you miss or if the person dodges you guys swap positions however if the person who's dodging flinches three times you get to slap their hand and if that happens three times you get to slap the person in the face and you win i think you guys understand my goal by now so recess comes along and i challenge dale to the slap game once again this dude is a unit and i was small and skinny at the time so there's no way his reaction time could even compare to mine dale steps up i'll let you go first yo yo now this was concerning to me because letting someone go first is bold because you have to have absolute faith in your reaction time to not care if the other person goes first because if you don't dodge they'll just sweep you so we set up and a common move you can make is to move your head kind of like a pump fake in an attempt to make the person flinch so i do that nothing he is looking at me with the most stone cold unwavering eyes <laughs> let's go yo yo t yo nigga just slap himself he doesn't even kind of believe that i'm even gonna touch him but his moment of arrogance left him vulnerable though because all i had to do was hit his hand as soon as he put his back on mine so after slapping himself he puts his hand back down to mine and the nanosecond it touches mine i swing as fast as i can and he dodges it meaning that we had to switch positions he flips his hands let's go I, actually i don't think i let's go <laughs> I said, hey, yo. Nah, don't rap. Slap. Let's go. I place my hands on top of his, and I know he can feel the shaking of. Uh. He slaps my hands. He pump fakes. I flinch. And eventually, I end up flinching three times. Uh. Six times. Uh. Nine times. <laughs> You know what time it is, yo, yo. Dale, please. I'm getting bodied so hard that a group of kids is formed behind us now. He places his hand next to my face, winds it back. I try to move out of the way, but this other kid holds me in place. Dale, you don't have to do this. It's too late, yo, yo. A gorilla wins! <laughs> I am now 22 years of age, and to this day, I have never been hit as hard as I got hit that day, bro. I fall to the ground, and I lay there in defeat. Once again, the craziest part about this whole story is that no one got in trouble because it was just seen as a game. Three, uh, my hand, six, uh, my face, nine. wait, wait, please. Hey, get uh, off the ground. Don't try that dirt in my classroom. <laughs> goofy kids i literally got slapped like five times today and the faculty did absolutely nothing but if i would have hit him back it would have been a fight and not a game and they would have immediately been on mr yo-yo what do you have to say for yourself I have to say hey yo safe space that's what your teachers tell but don't show me <clears throat> but if i stand up for myself i'm wrong are you joking <clears throat> you are pot. i'm on my soul things i'll stomp you out of some tims and make your brain pop like moby <clears throat> Man, how is it my fault you can't fight? I guess a L is something you can't take light. Better come correct. You don't know me, cause I got a special beam on my cannon for green niggas like you no bowling. Yeah! I keep a laser too, what you smoking? This light finna leave you in the sky walking like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Don't troll me, cause when I put up a band, my ninjas will put the metal on your dome and cross you out like a rogue shinobi. Yeah, public school is a war zone, man. Moral of the story, 
A grizzly bear is absolutely dog walking a gorilla, bro. Gorilla right there, bear right there. They it's, fight. It's a cow in the forest. The gorilla will win. Bro, the ba bears are, 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 are basically big dummies. <laughs> like, in a jungle environment, bro, he's gonna rip this a tree bear. No, it's not. Yeah, but the gorilla? Bears knock yeah. down trees. Bro, have you seen gorillas even in a zoo? They're smart, bro. bro they're, they're, they make tools. They fucking get. Bro, what's it? If you had a shovel, a bear is still fucking you. What are you talking for? Well, I'll give it to you. The bear might be the stronger one. The bear's the better one in every way except slugs. The bro. bear's on the ground and the gorilla hits like one of these or like one bro, of come these. On. The bear's not letting that happen. I don't know, bro. Uh, bro what? The, bear, the bear's going to stand up. And the bear's going to stand up like this. And then the gorilla pushes him over. Oh, and come he on. just falls. Yeah. He just falls. Yeah. 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 Go oh, for the attack. The claw. And the gorilla. If boom, bears boom, and fight boom, other boom, bears. Boom, boom. If a gorilla can catch a grizzly bear lacking, I guess. Bro, the average size of a silverback gorilla is like five to 500 pounds. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas about to give me hot. 